Hey guys, uh, just for the record, this is Andrew's car. 200 and uh, two, trying to get the right now, 211 odd thousand Ks. We did a diagnostic on it and everything looked quite average and it was the original injectors. Injectors all replaced, we had to fix a lot of things along the way. This vehicle came from Mackay, North Queensland, nice and hot up there. Um, and there was a few bits and pieces. Someone's worked on it before, so we fixed all that up. Had blow by before, so had to do some extra cleaning. And the intake was pretty average, so we did an EJR clean and uh, sucked what we could out of the manifold. Not too bad further down. Just having a look at the readings after the job, much better. Okay, definitely acceptable. Not as good as a, you know, a, a really good one that we would see. I'm just going to run through a few of those readings. This is this video is mainly for our own records. Um, vehicle speed, obviously we're not moving. Engine speed 700 RPM, where it warmed up to full operating temperature. You can see the coolant is 86. It's idling at about 85, 86. So this thermostat's probably not working spot on at idle temp, but I'm sure it's okay throughout the range. Um, the load, I would like to see the load down around the 12, 11, 12, I'd like to see it going 11, 12, 11, 12 ish, 12 and a half, whatever, but I'm seeing it go 14 and a half, 15, 14, 5, 14, 9, this is not what these normally do, I have had some other vehicles, it's not the only one, it's not the end of the world, it's all good, but it's not down to around 12, now, after a bit more driving it could settle, this happens sometimes when the readings are a long way out, long overdue injectors and takes a bit of time to come back in to spec so we'll check it again in six months or something let's have a look at some of the other readings let's go down to the next most important ones kind of like uh, injection volume same thing i would like to see it at about six so we've got a few consistencies here there's an extra bit of load on the engine for some reason I'm not sure why yet. The injection volume up around between seven and eight. I would have liked to see that around six. So not a big deal, but you can see the feedback photos come down to more like what it should be. Like under four is okay, but it was up in the three point something from memory in the previous video. So down near nothing, that's good. You can see the feedback values are all very good. Um, spec on that, as I said, plus or minus three is the limit. Um, uh, minus two, eight, two, and a seven point seven. All points, you know, bugger all. Anyway, sometimes you even see higher than that. It's not numbers to worry about. Individual feedbacks, not a big deal to worry about. You just look at those with the whole picture. Now, pilot one and pilot two. You can see normally I say they're around the four thirty. You can see how consistent they are now. Very close to around the four thirty mark. But every now and then, pilot two's popping up to four fifty, which is still really good. Um, but very very close around the 430 mark for both of those main, main injection period at the bottom ideally would be around the 600 or a bit lower but I can see it's improved a lot but it's still jumping around it's around the 650 mainly but it's still jumping around the up to the 700 I would have liked to see it down around the 6 or even under 6 jumping around 550, 6, 650 sort of 550, 600 so Definite massive improvement. The injectors were flogged, but between those readings, the load, the injection volume, and the main injection period, the ones we normally see go out on the 120s on this vintage injector, there's something going on. It's not injector related, it's obviously something with the engine. Let's have a look at the timing as well. Uh, so 3, 14, and 20, that's good. So that's improved as well pretty happy with that and there's not much else exciting to have a look at uh, we can have a look at the fuel pressure we did put a suction control valve in it it was jumping around I did have a look at the fuel pressure beforehand it was jumping around a lot and you can see this is what normal fuel pressure does now okay once it's fully warm and at idle with all accessories off the target Conrail pressure is 35,000 kPa and you can see the actual fuel pressure anywhere in the few thousand below so usually hovering from 32 to 35 is normal it may go up a bit over 35 to 
no more than about 36 usually you know you can see it's going 35 and a half right so the ECU sit there and the fuel the the SCV is doing its best to get it to that and it's usually following along and if you do things like bringing it up to let's take it up to 3000 rpm just let it steady off hang on and you can see pretty steady there as well and when we do a quick change on and off the gas we want to hear changes we want to hear not hear changes we want to see i'm thinking and uh, i'm trying to trying to talk anyway it doesn't matter what we're trying to see is when we rev it up we want to see that fuel pressure chasing the target quickly as close by as possible anyway this video was just to have a look at the diagnostic and make a record we may release it one day it might go on the vip whatever but it's mainly just to have a record of with this vehicle i'm not a hundred percent satisfied what am i saying well i'm not sure what's causing this you know uh has it's had blow by in the past has it got a blocked oil pickup is it been starved of oil i don't think so okay there's no evidence we've seen that shows that but if there was some wear or damage to the engine um, it would then create a bit of load like this let's throw it out there if it had a cracked piston that wasn't hold yet i don't believe it would create a load so i'm not going there but you know the point is what if it has okay you just don't know sometimes when you leave it this is 13 years on the original injectors yeah only 211,000 k's but as i said before it's not just it's a long time either way 13 years so there's a chance you know but we don't know i don't think so but there's something going on i suppose this is a little bit of what you get if you pick one that's that old and it hasn't had the maintenance done and it hasn't it's got 13 year old injectors not good each do their own what you want to do this job's done now it's running a lot better let's give it some time and you never know we might have another diagnostic video on it somewhere down the track let's say uh maybe when it's yeah about six months in or a year in so we're in october 2020 now so maybe we'll have another video on it in april 2021 or at some other month so keep your ear out for this is uh whose car did i say it was again um andrew p this is andrew p you know the car it's a one 2007 120 prado 211,000 k's so this is only for those people that are watching closely every video and when it comes along again you'll know my clients and the vehicles as well as i do if i give you uh, some details like that and you can see quite consistently that load we did have another vehicle like this that had the load up around there and it didn't have any major problems and it's been going for you know another 100 150,000 k so um, it didn't change much it stayed sort of about the same wasn't getting any worse you know so where this would normally show you that there's some wear on the injectors in this case it's not that so let's go back and have a look at the other rings and we'll call it a video all right still consistent around the seven eight on the injection volume let's get down to the it's not down down to the around the 700 for the main injection anyway guys bada bing bada boom